Has this ever happened to you? You get into your car, getting ready to go out, you switch the car on, and then you hear a beep. You look at your dashboard, and then you see some weird wacky light saying maintenance or warning required. What does that actually mean? We have no idea what's going on with our vehicles. So we simply take it in, and we hope that the mechanic will give us a true and honest reflection of what's going on. Now, if you're like me and you don't really trust that that process really, really works, then this little device is gonna make a world of a difference. Check this out. Hey, welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. My name is Liron Segev, and every Tuesday I share with you tips and tricks and how-tos to making you more productive, more efficient, and getting more out of your systems. If this sounds like something that you're into, smash that subscribe button right here, and let's get on to this week's episode. It's the Zeus Smart Vehicle Health Monitor by Nonda that was sent to me for review, which plugs into your car's onboard diagnostics port, which is also known as the OBD port. Look for it, it's probably underneath the steering column, it's gonna be maybe on the passenger side, maybe inside the glove compartment. Your car should have it. So once you find the port, all you're gonna do is plug the device in, and then download the app. Download the Zeus app from the Apple Store or from the Google Play Store and create your account. And all you're going to do is you're going to link the two up. Now it does that using Bluetooth. Just follow the prompt as you have them on the screen. And then you click on Pair Now. When you run the scan, it will go through the list of items in your car. In this particular case, it discovered 38 items and they're all fine, thankfully. It gives you a breakdown. It checks for the air conditioning, it checks for the ignition, for the speed, the idling mode, and it gives you a breakdown of every item and subcategory. If anything is wrong, it will tell you what the error code is, what the diagnosis should be, gives you a description of the problem, and in fact, you can actually take that code to the mechanic, so when you go to hand in your car, you can tell him to check for that error code. Now you're armed with information and won't be ripped off. So this concludes another Tech Tip Tuesday. Hopefully you've picked up some tips and tricks that you could use. Feel free to share this video by clicking the share button down below. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. And I'll see you guys on the next episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Cheers for now.